Welcome to Skating TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Black Stars players, Ghana Black Princesses, and some few other updates we need to know in this one. Yesterday, the Ghana Black Princesses, Ghana 20 girls, they played a friendly match against Tricola side of Mexico, and the game ended goalless. This is a preparation ahead of the World Cup 2024, which is going to happen in Colombia, and we will talk about it in this update. Next, Black Star squad. Right now, it is trending. A lot of the players, according to report, are making a squad. Others are also going out. Well, we will talk about them. The likes of Inyaki Williams, Joseph Pento, Majida Shimeru, and some few other players. We will speak about it in this update. Then, one new goalkeeper. Guys, I spoke about this goalkeeper on the 9th of February, 2024, over six months ago, that we should watch out for this boy. Then, on the 17th of July, 2024, I spoke about this goalkeeper again. And now, according to reports coming in from Netherlands, Ghana, we are now talking with the goalkeeper. We want to switch him from Netherlands to come and play for Ghana. I will confirm everything for you and give you all the details you need to know about this particular goalkeeper. What are your thoughts? Because I've been saying that the Black Stars goalkeeping aspect, we need competitions in them. And this young boy, if you get him, guys, he's going to help the Black Stars team. We will talk about him together with all the latest that we will talk about in this update. You know how we do it. If you join us, take your time. Like the video as you do always after liking. If you're new, subscribe to this channel. Put us on post notifications so that you can drop the latest update. You'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment box. And after watching the video, share the link for others who also come here and enjoy the latest. I also do my best to give shout out to those who commented under the last video in this one. So stick and stay for your shout out. Please, after watching the video, share the link. I've been saying it. The time I spoke about this group, I said that we should share the link so that those in authorities will actually go close to this goalkeeper and now it is happening so it tells you that yes we are making impact um jordan emisa we spoke about him here a number of times and the player actually end call up to join ghana now this player is also going to end call up we want the best for the national teams and let's continue to share the video for all the platforms and all the social media handles at least to also support the work thank you for doing that now no time to waste let me actually begin from here yesterday as i said the ghana black princesses they played one game ahead of the world cup which is going to start from the 31st of august through to 22nd of september and it is going to be really interesting in colombia so it is colombia 2024 ghana black princesses these are the three matches that we will play first game will be against austria on the 3rd of september um 2024 exactly 1 a.m then after that we also lock once with japan under 20 um that is going to happen on the um, 5th of september after that we will play against new zealand under 20 so our group it is ghana new zealand japan and austria group um, e that is where we are actually placed so we will still follow them and bring you all the updates you need to know on this channel so that is a quick one for them and yesterday playing against the mexico under 20 girls the tricola the team in fact ghana's team they are yet to bring us the starting 11 we are not having it at the moment but i saw the likes of um Mephi and Yame. so you can see some of the pictures i'll be rolling them on your screen so you can just pause and check the faces for yourself so i saw Mephi and Yame in action stella and Yamicha was also in action um then i've seen comfort yeboa and some of the amazing girls who all played in the friendly match that we played against the tricola and that 20 girls from mexico it was an interesting one and according to reports from the mexican national team they were happy with the performance that their team also put up as well as the ghana's team and both teams are going to play in the upcoming world cup so it was a good exercise for ghana in bogota and we wish them all the best going forward so yesterday it was mexico one a mexico nil ghana nil in that particular friendly we will still follow the girls and bring you more updates as we have been doing on this channel now let me talk about black stars next call up yes black stars we have two matches to play in september first match is going to be played against angola the palancas negras on the fate of september 2024 possibly it's going to be at the kumasi Barbara sports stadium even though for now they are still working on the pitch but we hope that the pitch will be approved by um calf and we can use it to play the afcon qualifies ahead of us so first september 4 p.m and that is that after that on the 9th of september ghana will also travel to play against niger in some four days time so that is it also in the two fixtures ahead of us now per reports coach otto Ado has submitted his final squad 
to face these two nations. And out of the reports, a lot of names are now hovering around. As I've been saying, I don't like talking only about rumors on this channel, but I've heard some reports. And some of them are just clear for us to know. One, Inyaki Williams, it is clear that possibly he is going to return to the Black Stars team. For him, he missed out on the squad the last time around due to injury. And for now, um, surgery is done, everything is sorted. The player played his first game for his side at Tete Bobao in the La Liga last weekend. So we are expecting him to continue to play um, this particular weekend. And we will see how things will go with Inyaki Williams. So Inyaki is expected to join the Black Star squad, and it is clear. Joseph Pento is also a ringer for LA Galaxy. For him, as he moved on to the MLS, the first time he couldn't come to Ghana because he was having some few issues with documentation. That is why he missed out on that call up. Afterwards, the, the player also picked up an injury ahead of the last call up to face Central African Republic and Mali. And now he is fit, playing consistently. And according to reports, he is expected to join Coach Otoado's team in the next Afcon qualifiers. So these two players, per the report we are gathering, they are expected to return to the Black Stars team. Now I was also seeing some shocking news. I don't know whether it's true. I, I heard some reports that Majida Shibiru is also not going to be part of the squad. Per Football Ghana's reports and modern ghana i saw them posting those stories but i cannot authenticate it but that is what i was hearing i was like come on ashimi we should be in the blast star squad so they were actually saying that he's expected not to be part of this squad so we just have to wait and see how things will go on that particular front now a quick one on some injury updates quick one um i've already brought you an update that Tariq calamity has returned and he's expected to play over the weekend his, um, he started big, um, you know, training sessions with Brighton after that injury, and that is a piece of good news for us. We also have Gideon Mensah, who is still training with his club side, AJ Oxel, but last weekend he couldn't um, play due to the injury, but I saw him coming to the pitch with the players in the dressing room, everything, so Gideon Mensah is also expected to be fit for the Black Stars collapse, so we should just hope that this weekend he can play and we can actually get to know whether he is going to get call up or otherwise so there's just a quick injury update then i think um Kofitre is still out daniel Kofitre having anterior cruciate ligament injury very very bad injury acl he came back during the preseason but unfortunately he had a setback of which we are yet to hear about the latest on daniel Kofitre. so that is also a quick one on the players injury update if you have any question you can also prompt me then i'll come and speak about them in this one now um, Angola national team, they brought out their schedule. According, according to the schedule that they have, they are supposed to announce their squad on the 26th of August, which is going to be Monday, 26th. That's when they will announce their squad. After that, then September um, 2nd, they are going to begin their campaign. After that, then um, on Tuesday, September 3rd, they will have their first training session. Then they will depart for Ghana on that particular Tuesday afternoon. So we are expecting them to be in Ghana by um, you know Tuesday. That is talking of 3rd of september so that is it. a quick one from the angolan national team for the black stars team we understand that we are also going to begin campaign on september 2nd right after that sunday's fixtures then the team will depart ghana on the september 2nd which is going to be monday then they will actually begin campaign in accra after they gather then they will all move to kumase to continue their campaign and um you know we will see how things will go so i'll still follow this one and bring you more updates on this channel now let me talk about the boy that i really want to speak about that is talking of room Jaden Owusu odro i was talking about this boy as i said twice already he's performing so well for az akman in the netherlands eredivisie and now according to az alert for them they give stories mostly or only about their players is that akuma players from the youth side to the senior side now today they've actually published a story that the ghana football association coach otoado they have begun talks with their goalkeeper that is room jd nohusu drew this particular goalkeeper on your screens that possibly he should actually switch nationality or move from netherlands to come and play for ghana black stars that is the latest that we know so let me actually take you through after that then we'll talk more about this particular news yes um it was written in depth, so i've actually translated it let's check it out the ghanaian football association is considering calling up rome jaden owusu odro for the national team and have contacted him and his management the 19 year old goalkeeper born in the netherlands with ghanaian roots faces an important choice play for ghana 
his father's native country or stay with the Dutch youth teams, for which he has already been selected several times, including recently for Young Orange. Then they continue or they concluded by saying Ousu Odro has proven himself to be a talented and reliable goalkeeper at AZ and is now the first choice on goal at AZ. The decision has not yet been made, but both football unions are closely following his choice. So according to um, AZ Alex, Ghana Football Association, as well as the Dutch national teams, they are all following the boys' progress to see how things will go. As I said, on um, 19th of July, I brought you an update that right now, they've decided, or the team AZ Akuma have decided to give this boy the number one short stopper for the club side so this time around if you have been following the nether edivisi the first game for isa rakma he didn't keep but the second match he kept for them um you know 90 minutes they actually won by a go to them and he was really su uh, super fantastic that is last weekend they won by a go to them against next German. i've been following this goalkeeper and guys he's performing so well now let me speak a little bit about Rome Jaden Ousu Odro. He was born on 2nd July 2004. So I will say right now he's 20 years. Yes. And I'm in Amsterdam, Netherlands. And um, as I said, he was born, or as the story actually disclosed, to a, a Ghanaian father and a mother from Netherlands. So that is how everything played for his side. Now, um, his. Um, he actually began from John AZ junior size. After that, then he was promoted to join the senior side, and he has been keeping for them some 31 matches in some competitions for the junior side since 2022. And the goalkeeper was really amazing. After that, he has joined the senior side from 2023. And per the performances he was putting up last season, they got to know that no, this boy is really amazing, and we have to give him opportunities to be playing for us. And from 2023 coming, he has been earning call up to join netherlands under 20 side so they've seen that this boy is really good he's won you know competitions with the john age that akuma the youth size and this boy is just really fantastic so i'll still follow him and bring you some more updates if you really want to see him more just go to youtube just type john out as you are on youtube here right after the video just go and search more about um room jade in Ousu Odro saves or something you get to know that yes he's one goalkeeper that if you follow his development he's very good his height is also good, and I think going forward, we should all be watching out for this goalkeeper. I'll still follow him, and as I said, if he accepts that he's coming to play for Ghana, I'll bring you those confirmations on this channel. But for now, Otto Aro, GFA, they want the player to search anxiety from Netherlands to come and play for Ghana. Already, for Netherlands, he has been getting collapsed to join the junior size. But for Black Stars, they want him to join the national team, the Black Stars, the senior national team itself. So that is it also on him. Let's see how things will go. As I've been saying, if you get a lot of goalkeepers, it is not bad. People will be like, everyday new goalkeeper, everyday new player. No, if we have more players, we can select the best out of them. So the goalkeeping aspect, we need competition. Aside Artizigi, no keeper is actually giving at his game competition. So we need that in the Blasters team. And I think it is going to help us. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Now, let me give some shout outs before I take leave of you because it's very, very important. Shout outs going out to Ofori Bruce. You commented first under the last video yesterday. I appreciate you so much. Ikis233, you also on this channel. Um, you commented Baba Rahman. David Akompala is also on this channel. Roger Silvanos, you are also on this channel. Felix Infojo, you are also here. Ma B is on this channel. I appreciate you. Pastor Thomas, you are here. Ofori Bruce is also on this channel. Rashid Bass and Marcy, you are here. Emmanuel Amani, Haruna Mohammed. Um, Ghana Ball, you are also on this channel. Inusak Musa, Omari Studios, Joseph um, Amankwa, okay. Then I have Ahmed Tijani here. Um, Stefan DK, you are also here. Ezeko Dochedo, um, Simon Dai, thank you for being here. Then um, Ho Emmanuel YouTube channel, thank you, I appreciate you. Ho Emmanuel, Ion Fanatabi is here. Baba Ojaki, um, I think I've mentioned Omari Studios. Abrant here, you are also on this channel. Jason Grant, thank you. Um, Niklu, you are also on this channel. Thank you. Steven um, Artist, you are also here. Thank you. I appreciate you. The most, Morris, the most, you are so amazing. Thank you. Daniel Dixon is also here. You were laughing. <laughs> okay. Ezekiel Dutchie Dark, okay, I've mentioned already. Gideon Akagbo is here. Then Israel Agba. Um, Junior AJ Frederick, you are here. Nathan Diagram. Love your Jima. Steve Nortis, I think I've mentioned already. Steve Nortis. Okay. In my 8485 Bangalore City. Then I have Love Your Jima, Too Loud EAPs, Jason Grant, 
and Imano um, uh, or NS that make a few. Yes, so these are all the comments I have under the last video as of the time I'm recording this one. Don't forget to always like the video for me, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.